And we are off, folks. Horizon Ultimate with the disc now. Some nice swinging here in the open division. Hoping to try and spread things out, disperse the defensive pressure from Ballarat Ultimate in this, the first day of the Division 2 Australian Ultimate Championships. A one-hand bobble is going to give the disc back to Ballarat to push back in the, the other direction. They're already in their offensive half. This is where they want to be. Two bites at it from Martin Forrest is going to be enough to generate the turn. Big crossfield hammer to break past the zone. It's Yan with the disc. A one-handed booty slide to give the disc to Yuan as the defensive pressure closes in. Laser show straight through. That is going to be Forrest for the bookends as well, getting that great defensive touch earlier. And then being the one to close out the point with the score, Horizon 1, Ballarat 0. Red through from James Branson for the score. That is the first point of our exciting match here. My name is Blair Munro. This is the 2024 Australian Ultimate Championships here at Shepparton in Victoria. I'm here with the Ulti TV crew in conjunction with the Australian Flying Disc Association. The first of our three days of Ultimate. Gibbs with the disc now. Puts it up, looking for Kramer. Can he get the read? Yes, he can, despite a great play by Sue to try and generate that turn. It's not going to be enough. Ballarat Ultimate with the disc for the pull. It's turning over early. It's going to fall out of bounds. Just crossing our player exclusion line. And so Forest for Horizon is going to pick up. Bring that down to the brick mark. An X painted 18 meters in front of the Horizon defensive end zone to initiate play. Marked by Forsyth. Threads through, finding Devereaux, but it bobbles from his hands. Ballarat with an opportunity here to put two on the board on the bounce.
That's uh, Branson to get the intercept for Horizon. Putting a big shot up. Looking for Rutner. One hand take to tie the game. Horizon ultimate. What a beautiful take there by Jimmy Rutner for Horizon. And a huge bomb from Martin Forrest to put that one in his hand. All but overthrown. But the foot speed of Jimmy Rutner is going to be enough to pull it in. That is going to be 2-1 for Horizon. AJ with the pull. Some nice give-go early from Ballarat. Putting a huck up. Graham. Runs that one down, doesn't have to leave his feet, gets in good position, but something came in right towards the end. Shook it loose from his grasp. Lots of fakes trying to open something up. Nice little blade. That's well, going to be from Jacob Kang. Clean enough that there was no call, and it's going to give the disc back to Ballarat. Scott Ryan with the disc. Finds Schweinzer. Patrick Graham safe resets to Noah Bartwick. A uh, bread basket, albeit a low one. Scott Ryan. Big hammer fake from Patrick Graham. Decides instead to find Keegan Ray. Going to be a score for Ballarat Ultimate to tie the game. And so the score tied. Ballarat Ultimate to come out on defense with the disc. Seven players from Horizon.
Our mate Rexy, the outbreak hat. Playing in this tournament instead of being behind the camera. We may get a chance to see him on the stream a little bit later on. But at the moment, it's Horizon and Ballarat. Horizon on offense. Rutner working with Branson. Bouncing through O'Hara. Nice give goes to Branson. Trying to keep the defense out of position. A quick finish there. I believe that was Yan with the score to finish that one off and put Horizon Ultimate back in the lead. The score being 3-2. One more time, Branson with the around to Rutner, back to Branson. Floating that one right through to Yan for the score. Horizon Ultimate to come out now on defense. There is the pull to touchdown. Skimming past. Ballarat offense, a little quick scramble gets them back in the game. Big shot goes up, who's underneath? Double coverage, but Ballarat to come down with it. Looks like they're gonna call that one a score to tie the game. Looks like a timeout has been called. Relatively early on in the game, both teams on an even footing. So it's not as though there's a lot of momentum that needs to be disrupted, but maybe there's just some opportunities for consolidation within these teams that they want to try and discuss early so they can really start to claw their way ahead in this match. But we will see what the conclusion of those discussions and is and how that manifests as the game continues. But we'll be back after a short break. He's in a great spot. Yeah. He's in a perfect spot. Yes, his massive head has blocked everything. Oh. That was a huge play, but we have seen face. none of it. Finney, Finney, he's done it. And Ballarat Ultimate are the first to break the huddle after that timeout. We're going to see Ballarat Ultimate come back down on defense.
Great pull there from Ballarat Ultimate. Pushes Horizon right back into the end zone, but they're quick to break out as Roman on an undercut opens everything up. A laser show straight through to Hannah. Line drive. Floating. Looking for Forrest. He can see the forest for the trees, putting a disc out to him. That is going to put Horizon Ultimate back up by one. 4-3 to the lads in the light. Great little score there by the Horizon lads. But now the question is, are they able to pour on that same pressure on defense? AJ with the big pull. Nice amount of float, but the chase isn't really as intense as they need it to be. Ballarat able to get off the first two passes without any trouble. A low shot to the far sideline is somehow kept alive. A big shot taken in by one hand. Ballarat keeping it a close game. Pull from Ballarat. It's going to touch down and roll. Rutner to pick up and initiate. A little bit of miscommunication there as to who that was for. But Yan with the disc doing a lot of the driving of the midfield. Finds you in. Gives a little bit of a spin cycle as the wind starts to pick up now. Roman able to find the wide side reset. Huge play by Gibbs from Ballarat to put that one back in the hands of the lads in the dark kit. At 25 meters, Aiden Graham. Puts the shot up. Finds Gibbs with a interesting throw selection there. But it's going to be enough to let them put it through. Or possibly not as the disc goes back to Horizon for an opportunity to come all the way back. It's Roman with the disc. Nice around, finds Rutner near sideline with a left shot, but he's overcooked it. Devereaux can't get a hand there. The call from the sideline, we're going to need to play defense for 10 seconds. 
Graham with the big cannon. Devereaux loses it in the, in the mix. And that's going to be Ballarat to come down with the disc. Corbin Forsyth, but it looks like there has been a call. So just get a, bit of, get a bit of communication from the field as to what has happened. A big huck. Possibly a pick called. As to why there were two potential receivers for that one open in the end zone. So yeah, looks like that is going to be a pick. Number 12, Martin Forrest making the, um, providing the input that he could have been involved in that contest, which may have stopped that goal being scored had his pursuit of his defender not been interrupted by the position of the uh, players on the field. And so our game advisor has taken to the field to provide a little bit of clarity and just ask the questions that the players might be a little bit too heated in the moment to ask themselves. So it looks like that is going to possibly return so we might be able to see that monster flick hark from Aiden Graham again manages to sneak away the reset a laser show comes through nice and low. It's bobbled by Forsyth. The disc doesn't lie. Looks like it's going to go back to the hands of Horizon. Gibbs closes in tight. Stops the reset coming away. Devereaux far sideline. Has to go back to Rutner. With the left hand shot through to Yan. You in to Devereaux, pushing closer. Rutner, not an option. Roman. Nice little swing backhand to a Devereaux. Jan with one hand, not gonna be able to get it. Ballarat with a possession now and an opportunity to walk back the field. Graham one more time marked by Yuen. Finds the line shot to Cameron Gibbs. A static layout, great reflexive play there from Joseph Kramer. Nice floating pass, lasers through, finds the turf as Roman not able to chase that one all the way down. Aiden Graham with the flick huck, eaten up by Martin Forrest. Finds Yuan on the far sideline. Roman tries to shimmy shake. Can't quite get free of his defender. Yan puts it through nice and low. Finds Henry O'Hara. Who can't close it out. Looks like there's an injury there. That landing did come in a little bit heavy.
So we're gonna see a timeout called now. Ballarat with the disc to work back the other field, but after a reasonably long point, a lot of energy on display from both sides. It's a good move to put a stop to it and give everyone an opportunity to just cool their heads just a little bit. To take some time, squeeze some air back into those lungs, make sure that the blood is still flowing, get some water in, reset to a point where you can really draw on all of the energy that you've got. We're going to see if it works out for them. As the score is currently for all. This possession currently in the hands of Ballarat Ultimate. But the point could be anyone's. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow Ultimate everywhere. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend. <laughs> and we are back. Share us with a friend. And speaking of friends, my name is Blair Monroe. I'm here at Shepparton in Victoria. Your friend, your eyes and ears on the ground to give you context and commentary as Ballarat Ultimate. It's Aiden Graham with a reset through to Gibbs. After that timeout, fantastic play. Puts a big shot up. Who's he looking for? Oh, Forsyth puts Forrest on a poster. Goes full on bully mode. Can't get the reset clean though. Aiden Graham with a great run through and a snap hammer right across field for the score. It's good. Just like they drew it up. That's probably what the huddle looked like. The Ballarat boys crowding around. All right, I'm going to make a couple of quick resets. Uh, I'm just going to bang it and then run through for the support. And... Uh, then I'll just throw a hammer to whoever's open, and it clearly worked for them. Ballarat ultimate to take the lead for the first time in the match. The score is now 5-4. And just to touch back on those lovely ads you just saw, if you like what you see and you want to help us bring you ultimate coverage, head on over to patreon.com slash ulti.tv. Give us your spare change. You're not using it. Going to see it now. As soon as he stops, the big crossfield hammer. And if you want to see big plays like that, and you want to help us keep bringing you big plays, your support makes all the difference in the world. On bully mode. Can't get the reset clean. Disc touches down early. Little bit of miscommunication as they scramble to pick the disc up. Branson with the disc supported by O'Hara. A little bit close as the Ballarat boys put down an aggressive zone. Really trying to pinch to close in. A big fake from Martin Forrest. Got a huge bite out of Scott Ryan. But we've decided to come back by way of Rutner. And Branson to the near sideline. But an inside break shot's going to be enough to open things up. We see Varshney getting involved in the mix. Branson and Rutner again. Working through. Slowly taking yards. Stealing yards away from the zone. Forcing them to chase back and around. To make those defensive adjustments to keep a good position. It's Forrest. Branson. And he's landed a little bit spicily. And an injury is going to be called. He's going to take a substitution now. The lads from Ballarat are going to be given the opportunity to do the same. It looks like they're going to retain the same seven players on the line. Play is going to resume. 
There's a violation. Looks like the disc wasn't checked in before they started that initiating pass. Huang and Forrest. Vashni. Back to Forrest. To Rutna. Line drive to Roman. The zone now pinching towards the other side, but an open Huang's going to be there. O'Hara trying to make himself available at the back of that cup, but it's a little bit out of position. Needs to really push through if he wants to get involved and really help to break this defense open. Rutner with the big shot up. Who's underneath it? Ballarat. Schweizner goes through to Barwick. To Ryan. Weisner again, nothing developing for him in the downfield space. He's forced to look back to find a reset, finds Noah Barwick. Ray goes through to Ryan, a blade over the top, finds Patrick Graham. Looks like they're going to call it. Ballarat ultimate go to six. Over Horizons 4. Now a reminder for those folks watching at home. The game is to 13 based on the rules of this tournament. So we're going to take a halftime break once the first team reaches 7 points. Ballarat Ultimate a one break away from that magical milestone. We're going to see whether or not they can do it. Or whether or not Horizon are going to use this as an opportunity to really fight back to find something uh, the same something that allowed them to take the lead and hold on to it so early in the game, whether or not they can fire back, they can tap back into that and put on a show for the rest of the first half. Okay, Ballarat to come out on defense for what they hope will be the last time in the first half. There's the disc, goes up a nice amount of flow, but it's looking like it's going to fade towards and definitely out of the field. Whatever he had for breakfast, I want some. The kind of man who can always pull inbounds, just maybe not in his own field. It's going to give the Horizon boys an opportunity to really sit up their offensive structure as they bring it back to the brick mark, 18 meters in front of their defensive end zone. It's Forrest, supported by Rutner. Bong again. They still seeing that zone defense from Ballarat. Nice and aggressive, pinching close, but respecting the three meters. Or well, possibly not. It's a little bit of a miscommunication there on field. Just waiting for those players to resolve that before we can continue play. Finds Roman straight through to UN. Reset to Huang. Supported by O'Hara. Drops right back. Not given an opportunity to reset to the disc on a swing shot. Huang and Forrest working together to keep position, but they're just losing yards until he cracks it open with a big hammer straight into the receiver. But a poach block from Ballarat is going to generate the turnover. Peeling off out of nowhere. 
Pop. Kramer puts through and is contact called. So just waiting for these players to resolve the call. We're going to get another chance to see it. So they're going to contest that call, which means the disc is going to go back to the last uncontested possession. It's going to stay in the hands of Ballarat Ultimate. Finds through to Kramer. UN and Rutner doing a great job of stopping that reset. Shot to Cameron Gibbs. Puts a high flick up. Rutner, Roman both involved in that one there. Hoping to secure it, shutting that one down, giving the disc back to Horizon Ultimate. Trying to work the disc out of the defensive end zone. We've seen a call. Forest, Roman. Being stifled by the Ballarat defense. O'Hara managing to break three. Pressured again. Huang Rutner. Yeah. 
Very tight and aggressive on the mark, but they're able to find O'Hara yet again to chip a hole through. Only taking a couple of yards at a time. But it might be enough as long as they can keep it up. It can be exhausting cutting for defense like this, but Forrest gets it, puts a big shot up, looking for you in. Gets it. And there's a call on the out. And UN arguing that that should be a score. Looks like that is going to be called out. So it's going to be a turnover. Oh, that's hard to see from our replay as to whether or not the studs of his cleats were in contact with the grass or not. That's a tough read, but it's going to go back to Ballarat anyway. Making the right call, displaying that spirit that we care about so much. Patrick Graham. Roman making a clean shot around there. That's going to be enough. That is going to keep Horizon in the game. Down only by one point now. We are 42 and a half minutes into our 70 minute cap. The score is 6 to 5 in favor of Ballarat. They will be given the disc for free on this next possession as Horizon come out on defense. Horizon wanting to walk away with the first half of the game. We're going to have to fight very, very hard to stop Ballarat from scoring. But we have seen that they are capable of doing it. AJ to pull for Horizon Ultimate. Huge rip. The front edge is high. Means he's going to lose a lot of the horizontal yardage in doing so. So it's actually touched down inside the Horizon defensive half, which is going to make things just a little bit easier for Ballarat Ultimate as they pick up to initiate a great layout attempt there. To shut that one down, it's not going to be enough. Decides for the around backhand instead. A laser beam straight to the turf. It's going to give the disc back to Horizon. That's what they need. Quick disc check. So play is going to resume. Little shimmy into a deep shot. Out to no one. Giving the disc back to Ballarat for free. Yes, there was territory associated with the throw, but... An interesting shot selection. We're going to see Schweinzer have the disc. And a pick has been called. Winds up again. 
AJ making a chippy bid through. Trying to close around. Letting nothing through until he lifts that foot and lets the line drive come through. An opportunity here for Ballarat to close and take half a big shimmy shake. Takes to the skies. Loses the defense in the process. Schweinzer, despite a great bid there. There's the backhand. That's the way. Ballarat to close it out. The score is 7-5. Ballarat over Horizon. That is going to be the end of the first half of the game. We are still on a race to 13, folks, but we are going to take a short break and be back with you for the exciting conclusion of this match in the 2024 Australian Ultimate Championships here at Shepparton in Victoria. My name is Blair Munro. I'm with the Ulti TV crew. Supported in, in proud partnership in conjunction with the Australian Flying Disc Association. What a fantastic tournament. Fantastic weather. Well done to the Shepparton Council who presumably have decided to dial back the skies and the rain today. Just a fantastic day for the very best ultimate in the country. Division 1, what? <laughs> Division 2 is where it's at, folks. We'll be back for the exciting finish of this, uh, of this match very soon. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere.
and we are back for the second half of our exciting stream coverage of this match between Horizon and Ballarat. Horizon with the disc at the moment currently down by two in this race to 13. With the disc to come out on defense, a great opportunity for Ballarat to widen the score as long as they can hold this disc offensively. Great pull right to the front corner on the far sideline. A line drive is going to find the hands of Patrick Graham who holsters the big shot of his own. Instead, opting to work with Schweinzer. Big crossfield hammer. Huge attempt by Patrick Graham, but it's not going to be enough. It's going to give the disc back to Horizon, who have an opportunity now to bring it back to a one-point game. Long with the disc. Vashni can't secure the offload. That is going to be reeled down by Ballarat. It isn't clean, but it is ultimate. That's Ballarat going up eight over Horizon 5 with the first hold out of the second half. So we are going to see Ballarat come back out on defense. Big, long pull to be fielded by Forrest. Working with Rutner. UN with the disc now. Back to Rutner as we see Ballarat's zone pinch in. We're seeing some nice small ball compressed ultimate. From Horizon until they find to chip through to Devereaux. The call is to scramble to a match. Defense finds UN, but it slips through his hands. Aiden Graham with the disc. He's going to uncork it yet again. Who's got the read? Devereaux out of nowhere. Just waiting for players. Find a position. Forrest with a scuba over the top to Devereaux. Can't continue through to UN. Wasn't quite heads up enough to be aware. Another scuba finds Forrest. Allows the break to go through. Devereaux again from Branson. To Forrest for the score to put it back to a two-point game. Horizon on six.
Villas with the disc for the pole. Good length on that one. Not a lot of float. It's going to be fielded and it's going to allow Ballarat to hit the ground running. Big play from Villas, but now he's out of position. Not able to do a lot with it. Except for a score that's going to be Cameron Gibbs pulling that one down. Number one for Ballarat. The score is now 9-6. Up by three for the lads in the dark kit. Still a race to 13. 10 minutes or so. 11 minutes left on our soft cap. As we progress further into the later stages of this game, we'll let you know what implications that has. Forest with the disc for Horizon. We see those similar players. O'Hara on an undercut, pushing wide. It's Branson, Forrest and Rutner. Devereaux getting involved. O'Hara instead, but Roman closes off the channel, so there's no opportunity for continuation. Branson to Forrest. Devereaux takes it with one hand, pats it back into the chest, tries for the give-go. Roman frustrated, nothing's developing. Disengages from Branson. It's going to be Forrest again with a score. We keep seeing him hitting that front corner. It's one of the most dangerous places to attack on the field. They're going to bring it back within two. Horizon on seven. Ballarat ultimate on nine. Horizon Ultimate to come out on defense now. AJ to pull. Good amount of inside edge. But it's fielded. Schweinzer with the disc now. Can't slip that one through as the Horizon defense is just too aggressive and tight. Manages to find Scott Ryan. A quick little offload. Low backhand, but it's kept off the turf by Patrick Graham. Feeds through, chips off Scott Ryan. Puts it up. Ballarat ultimate to go up by one again. The score is now 10-7 over Horizon.
Aiden Graham with the disc to pull for Ballarat Ultimate, hoping to put something up that's going to get them in a good position to close out this game. Horizon not willing to give things up just yet. They're calling an offside, which means they'll be able to take the disc from the brick mark. It's Branson. Rutner and Forrest in that upfield or backfield space. Scrambling, but gets the reset to Forrest. Oman loses a couple of yards, trying to get free to get that reset option. Forrest holsters the huck, goes to UN center field, gets some movement out of Graham. And a travel has been called. Disc in, immediately continues the same pass. Right on the doorstep. That's gonna be the one. O'Hara with the score from UN. Horizon eight against Ballarat 10. That is what the lads in light needed. Nice little run through to put that one on the board, but now they've got to play defense. AJ to pull again. Fielded. Shot through to Forsyth. They're running. Ballarat needing to close this one out. Something emphatic. They're going to find it. Two away from the win in a race to 13. The score is... 11 to 8. Looks like we're going to see a timeout called. Two points away from a Ballarat win, five away from a Horizon victory. Still anyone's game, but we are rapidly approaching the close of the match based on our time cap. So if we hit that 70 minute mark, we are technically in the next point being played. So. What will happen is if we hear that who to go and our soft cap ticks over, we will finish the point currently being played, which is this point as a point is considered to have started at the very instant that the previous point has concluded. So we will finish this point for a horizon score. We will then be playing to 12 for a Ballarat score. We will be playing through to 13. So we take the highest score at the end of the point being played at the other side of soft cap. We add one to it, and it's a flat race to that number. Ballarat still in a great position to walk away with the win here. Horizon, not impossible, but certainly obstacular. The task in front of them.
We are going to see the signal for readiness. Patrick Graham to put up the pull for Ballarat. Fielded and centered to Forrest, to Rutner. Hannah drops back to Devereaux. O'Hara's pushing deep as well. Rutner there slams on the brakes to give an early reset back. Some nice give-go movements, just trying to maintain that forward momentum. O'Hara's got it now. Marked by the long arms of Patrick Graham. He's struggling to get around. He's struggling to find an opportunity. Finds Forrest on the upline. Lose, uh, not gaining a lot from there, but is gaining an opportunity. That is going to be Neil Hanna with the score there. Although it looks like there's going to be a call and disc is going to go back. Forrest with the disc, the stall count getting up. We see an upline attempt. It's not going to be the one that walks away with it. Great touch, but there's contact called immediately. Looks like that is going to be accepted. So we're going to see O'Hara maintain possession there. As though the contact never happened. Forrest with a bit of shake and bake there to cook the defense. Chips through to Branson for the score. It's now 9-11. Now our clock says 71 minutes. Forrest gets free. Just a nice little slice through to Branson. Breaking off a piece of the action for his teammate to bring it back to a two-point game. But as that 70 minute has gone, it might just be a race to 12. Ballarat with an opportunity here to close out the game. They're given the disc for free on offense. They don't have to work for it the way that Horizon do in order to get possession. Kang with the pull. Aggressive chase by the Horizon defense, but Ballarat are out in front. And a pick has been called. The sheer foot speed carrying them well into the end zone. A slow jog back before they can reset and continue play. Vashni on the mark. Arms wide, aggressive. Doesn't quite overcommit, but he creates a window. There's the upline cut. He puts the shot up. It's Blady who's under it. Mother Earth, ladies and gentlemen, Mother Earth is underneath that one. It's going to find turf and give the disc back to Horizon. Huang has the disc now. Finds Kang, gets a slip out of the defense. Schweizner, nice and aggressive, tight on the mark. 
very questionable play there. We're going to get to see that again. Fong making the argument that needing to keep his eye on the disc as he made that upline cut meant that he was completely blindsided by number one. Getting a little bit of input from the sideline as well. Players on the field saying, hey, I've got some perspective as well. Like that's going to be uncontested or accepted. So some great communications there. Huang is going to retain possession of the disc. with a great upline cut to take that one nice and clean this time. Chip shot through to Huang. Walker puts a big shot up for Horizon and the score. It looks like it's going to bring it back to a one point game in a race to 12. A necessary break there for Horizon. Finn Walker with the cannon, despite the double coverage. Jeffrey Sue gonna pull that one down. Fantastic way to finish that position. After a well resolved dangerous play call very aggressive attack on that undercut coming through on the blind side. Horizon could be the opportunity for the first real upset of the tournament so far in our stream coverage. A lot of the matches that we've shown today They've started tight, but one team has clawed out a slight edge and hasn't given it up. Horizon was up. Now Ballarat's been up. But there's an opportunity here for Horizon, a really strong defensive line. A lot of defensive pressure is going to generate a turn for them. If they can close out with a score and a conversion, then they're in a position to tie the game, or to have tied the game, and to potentially win it. Kramer under pressure to Forsyth. Is this going to be it for Ballarat? Huge bid. It's not going to be enough. Forsyth. We see AJ calling a switch, trying to keep that defensive pressure in place. Forsyth calling for an upline cut, but it's marked too tight. There's going to be a touch from Brahman. It's going to be a turn. And so now we see Forrest to start off. Finds Devereaux trying to recenter the field. Puts a big shot up. Has it got the legs? It does, but Roman does not. He's not going to be able to run that one down for the score, but it's a great territorial option. Defensive pressure from Horizon could tie the game and take us to a universe point finish, the first of our tournament on stream so far. But it all comes down to this first possession. Graham versus Varshney. Manages to put it through to Forsyth. 
Marked by Forrest. Finds Kramer. Immediate reset back to Graham. Cuts a swirling through the midfield. Kramer puts a shot up. Devereaux are chasing it. Devereaux gets a hand to it. It's going to be enough. Not willing to go down without a fight. Horizon have found another gear. Forrest and Forsyth. Varshney on a great undercut, getting the separation from Aiden Graham, despite Graham's huge throws. Maybe that just explosiveness, athleticism on the field might be the weakness that Horizon can exploit. Now we've got an injury here. Looks like we're going to see a cramp from Forrest. He's done so much work in the handle space, immediately pushing that uh, reset into a deep cut. But may have tweaked something as we approach the end of the first day of the tournament. Took a tumble. So Branson to take the field for Forrest. Huge layout play, but it looks like it wasn't clean. So we're going to see a call made. Possible contested play, and the disc is going to go back. Finds Kang. Take swing, take Devereaux available as an option on the near side, but Patrick Graham's going to close that one down. Not quite enough. He was baiting that one. The disc is able to go back to Kang. Finds Branson. Pushes to far sideline. Finds Ramon. We see Varshney pushing deep. But they can't get the disc into power position to really send it. An upline cut from Kang. Two players cutting underneath. Looked like AJ was uh, caught off guard there. Bales out of his cut. Putting it up for Varshney, but there's a lot of float. Great work by Corbin Forsyth to get involved in that one, but so it looks like that's going to be an uncontested foul rather than a strip. Now, if that is the case, the disc needs to be checked in by Varshney here, walked to the front of the end zone, and then play can resume. If it was a strip, however, an uncontested or accepted strip is just a score. It's going to tie the game and take us to Universe. Looks like it is an accepted strip call. The game is 11-11, folks. One more point. The last one to play. Our first Universe point game of the stream schedule. We've seen a Callahan. We've seen some Skies. We've seen some Big Hucks. We've seen Atienza for, uh, goodness, one of our open teams. <laughs> Ronnie Atienza doing some fantastic work, uh, laying out all over the place. I think I saw three or four from him. And just at one point, absolutely fantastic. It was uh, U-Beam, I believe, Newcastle U-Beam. Some great work there. But we haven't seen a Universe Point finish yet until now. Horizon will be coming out on defense. We're going to take a short timeout. These teams need to put their seven best universe point players on the line that is not the seven most skilled it's not the seven fittest it could just be who's firing right now whose energy is right who's dialed in those connections who who's got that dog in them 
There's all of these little factors that a team needs to consider when you're putting a universe point line on. You need the seven people who are going to do the job that they are out there for. In this case, AJ with a big pull, but aggressive on defense and still calm enough on offense to hopefully convert if they're able to generate a turn. But first, they have to generate a turn, and they're going to do it. It's Jeffrey Sue with the layout block. Put them in a great position there, that beautiful touch. They're going to be just outside the brick mark. Let's go, Horizon! Horizon have it. Hong has the disc. Pinned down by Scott Ryan, but decides to come through to Devereaux anyway. Patrick Graham, aggressive on defense, can't stop the reset to Raman. And Devereaux on an upline cut. Is somebody going to make himself available for him? Branson is! That's the score, and that's the game, folks. Horizon Ultimate 12 on Universe Point over Ballarat Ultimate on 11. What a fantastic finish for this game the second to last stream game of our schedule for the first day of the 2024 australian ultimate championships here in shepparton in victoria what a phenomenal way to finish that game but we have not yet finished the day my name is blair monroe i'm here with the ulti tv crew a petition's going around to rebrand me as the voice of trans tasman ultimate <laughs> if you want to sign it Head on over to patreon.com slash TV. There may not be a link to sign a petition, but there is an opportunity for you to open your wallets, give us a little bit of support, and help us bring you the very best coverage in Ultimate here in Australia, in New Zealand, and around the world. With support and great effort and proud partnership from the Australian Flying Disc Association. What a fantastic tournament. We will see you again in the next one. TV.